All right, so today we're going to talk about um, these words, empirical, meta-analysis, review, theoretical. These are words used to describe uh, published literature in the field. And uh, when you first start thinking about these words, it may be hard to understand the differences between them, um, especially when there are topics such as people talking about empiricism, which uh, sometimes is related more to post-positivism or positivism. Um, but we're looking at these words in a more broad sense. So let's dig in and start thinking about what these words mean. Um, first of all, if even if you just Google the word empirical, um, you see here on the page that it comes up based on concerned with or verifiable by observation or experience rather than theory or pure logic. So um, the way I like to talk about this is basically if an article or a study is empirical, then that means that they've actually done something to collect data and then they describe the results of their analysis on that data. So the study's purpose is about investigating something and then collecting information about that something in order to produce results that come from the data itself. Empirical in a sense meaning coming from the data. So rather than talking theoretically about something, in which case sometimes data is used there, but more as an example of something that is trying to be explained that says these things have been done with data that have these results and we think that we have a theory to explain why that's happening. Um, so it, when you're looking for literature about this, so let me give you an example here. So if we just go to Google Scholar... If we search for a topic, so my area is mathematics and statistics, education. Um, so if I type in here a, on a topic that is kind of burgeoning in the field is informal inferential reasoning. So let's just look at the topic, at the titles here that we see and try to make some judgments about whether these things are empirical or not. Now, everything else in that list that we had back here, empirical, meta-analysis, review, theoretical, um, all of the things after the word empirical, none of those things are empirical. They're a specific type of, uh, they have a specific purpose, but they're not considered empirical. So let's look at this list here. We've got the first one, uh, a framework to support research. Okay, a framework. So that right there tells you it's not an empirical study itself, but it's something that they're proposing as a, a way to help guide empirical studies on this topic. So this is going to be more classified in the area of theoretical. Um, and if you can see here just in the description, it says in this paper, a working definition of informal inferential reasoning based on an analysis. And they say they keep going on here, but it has to do with key factors. Um, so this is uh, a way of describing what is this thing that people are starting to study. And this was 2008. Um, it has come a long way since then, but it is something that is trying to describe what is this, what does this word or this phrase mean and what are some ways in which we can study it. So this is more of a theoretical basis. Um, if we look at this next one, it just simply says informal inferential reasoning. So the title is not all that helpful. It could be theoretical. It could be a meta-analysis. And a meta-analysis means that a whole bunch of studies were put together and their results were combined and they produce a statistical examination of the combining of those results. That doesn't necessarily mean that it was empirical, though, just because they crunched some numbers. They simply combined them all together to synthesize them in a particular way. Um, 
A review is a similar thing that that happens where they're just simply saying, here's a bunch of literature we have on this topic, and I'm going to synthesize all of that down and try to explain this is what we know from all of this work that has already been done in the past. Um, So if we look at this one, even just the description here that's visible in Google Scholar, year 11 students are not exposed to formal methods. Uh, The second sentence, therefore, when drawing conclusions, the reasoning must be based mainly on looking at graph representations. This study investigates. Okay, that sounds promising, Um, but it's not enough yet. So luckily here, the PDF is available. That's better. Otherwise, we could click on this. Oh, actually, the link is to the PDF. So let's go to the PDF. If we go to the PDF, let me like make this a little bigger. This study investigates the type of reasoning that might develop students' informal inferential statistical reasoning towards a more formal level. A perspectives model is developed for a teacher's informal inferential reasoning from the comparison of box plot. The model is then used to analyze her students' response to an assessment task. So it sounds like something happened that was analyzed. There was some data involved. And then... The resultant analysis produced a conjectured hierarchical model for students' reasoning. The implications of the findings for instruction are discussed here. So if you read that and you still aren't sure, well, did they actually collect data and analyze it? Then scroll down and look at the headings. So here we see the second heading is research method. And if you look in that, um, it talks about... If you look at even just the last paragraph, I'm, I'm literally scanning the first sentence of each paragraph to see what it's about. So the research project is a two-year study. Okay, it sounds promising that they collected data. The school is, they're describing the setting. The teacher is this person. And then this paper focuses on the student's assessment responses. The teacher took the opportunity. No independent teacher was available to code the student data. So there was some coding that happened to the data. And then they have a section called results. This is perhaps the most telling that this was a study that involved, and and that was an empirical study. Um, From three teaching episodes on the comparison of box plots, a qualitative analysis of the teacher's communication So they qualitatively analyzed teachers' talk with students, is what it sounds like, teachers' communication. Um, And then in the signal view, the teacher uses the middle 50% of data. So she's talking about how the teacher talked about box plots with her students. And if we see here, this is an example of something that she used in class. So it's starting to feel more like she act, like there was actually analysis of the data happening. And then this model was created from that. Now, this is not as long as some other articles might be because it was a, um, this is a conference. It's a conference paper. So, but... Uh, I think it gives a good example that this is empirical. If we look at the next one, the role of context in developing informal statistical inferential reasoning, a classroom study. So if it stopped and didn't have the piece after the colon, you might be wondering, well, is it empirical or not? The piece after the colon makes it sound like it is empirical. However, um, you can see it says HTML. So the full text is probably available here. Let's open it and see and verify it, that it is empirical. Come on, Wi-Fi, don't give out on me. Here we go. All right, look at the second sentence. This small exploratory study in one grade, in one grade 10 classroom. Okay, so it sounds empirical. What's going on? Okay. Um, And then here, if you look down further, the analysis tracks the learning. And then findings. Data context was found to assist learners. So 
This is empirical study and empirical investigation um, where they, they investigated students in one classroom um, about how their learning looked in this type of context using informal inferential reasoning. Okay, let's go back. All right, this one, the challenge of preparing pre-service teachers to teach informal inferential reasoning. So this doesn't necessarily sound like it's empirical. It could be theoretical or it could just be a discussion about things that this author has seen or read that and he's trying to describe um, why this might be the case. Um, but if you look at the first sentence, there's growing recognition of, does not sound like it's empirical yet, this focus on has implications for teacher ed, okay, but this study reports on 26 pre-service teachers. That now sounds empirical. And if we go to the PDF of this, I think that we will find it is empirical. Twenty-six pre-service teachers utilizing lesson study to support a focus on the teaching of IR in primary classrooms. Here we have who the people were, so we know data was collected. Participants demonstrated proficiency. All right, this sounds empirical. If we scroll down, um, we have the theoretical background of the study, and if we go to the section three purpose and context. This study examines the process involved when pre-service primary teachers design and teach data lessons addressing informal inference. All right, the method. Here's the participants. We know there were people involved in this study. It wasn't just a review of other studies that involved people. There's procedures. The research was conducted over a 12-week semester. So that tells you that there was some planned data collection. Um, here we have a description of how the data was collected and analyzed. This is definitely empirical, and if you keep scrolling down, you see the results of that analysis here. All right. Hopefully this is helping to see the different, like, how do I identify something that's empirical versus something that's not. Um, Explanations and context in the emergence of students' informal inferential reasoning. That sounds empirical. Um, from the description here, this paper discusses the role of students' explanations. So this one might not be. So if we go to the PDF here. Oh, it's actually not a PDF. Uh, hold on. Let me try that one more time. I think it's going to make me download it. I'll try to, there we go. And we closely follow students' explanations in which they utilize their experiences and knowledge. And I can't highlight on this, but if you look down about the third um, sentence here, fourth sentences, this case study focuses on two independent inquiry episodes of sixth grade students within an unstructured inquiry-based technology-rich learning environment designed to promote students' informal inferential reasoning. That sentence clarifies very well that this is an empirical study. Case study is an analysis method. Um, and so um, it's clear that this is empirical now. We see that there were students involved at age 12, and when they say they are following students' explanations, that means that they are looking at how the students um, explained things in this study. All right. Hopefully this is helpful in thinking about empirical studies. Uh, if you have further questions about this, feel free to email me, Canvas message me, or... Um, tag me in, a, in a, a post on Discord or even just message me in Discord. Um, keep
keep thinking about this and let me know how things are going. All right.